Google just announced on a recent earnings call that over a quarter of their new code that's being written is actually generated by AI, which probably explains why so many Google products just kind of feel like trash lately. If you know anything about earnings calls and if you've ever worked in a corporate setting, you know that things of that nature are usually just a way for companies to fluff everything that they're doing and make investors happy and talk up everything that they have going on. And it's kind of a big circle jerk of C-level executives executives who are just patting each other on the back, trying to make themselves look good and make themselves look good for investors. During this same earnings call, they talked about how revenue is up in this quarter and how things are just looking so good for all of Google's products. Even though if you've used any of Google's products recently, you'll know that most users don't feel that way. Apparently, they're making a good amount of money. And that probably has a lot to do with the layoffs that they've had recently. But overall, the bottom line seems good. And it seems like a lot of this revenue is being generated by search, cloud, and YouTube. And let's be real, those are pretty much the only products that Google has that makes them any money. Now, I want to talk about a few of my theories and some of the reactions that I've kind of seen out there. I do think that this is just to hype up Gemini. They talked about Gemini and DeepMind and Notebook LM, which are a lot of their AI products. And if you're a developer who's been using AI and large language models to help them with coding, you'll know that pretty much nobody uses Gemini. We're all either using Claude, OpenAI, or a mixture of both. But Google's really got to hype up Gemini because it's their product and they're going to want to try to market that and make as much money from that as possible. So making a claim like this that over a quarter of their code is being generated by AI and they plan on putting more efforts into AI is obviously a way for them to market and talk about how great Gemini is and how great their AI products are. So I do think that there's a bit of hype around that just because it's a marketing tactic. And how much better can you market your product by saying that you're replacing your developers with your AI? This also helps attract more investors because right now there's a lot of AI hype. So when Google starts making claims like this, it's obviously going to draw a lot of attention and it'll make companies and investors want to put their money into Google because of their AI hype and products that they have coming out. And also saying that over 25% of your new code is being generated by AI is a bit of a vague statement because what code is being generated we don't know is this boilerplate code is this code that doesn't require a lot of thinking power and doesn't require a lot of expertise hopefully they're not using ai to build out a lot of their mission critical software and they did mention that they still have a lot of oversight from humans making sure that code is being reviewed by humans and approved by humans before it gets into production and of course at the end of the day it's not so much because it makes developers code faster it's probably because google's going to save a lot of money from those developers they could have been writing that code now using ai tools which leads me to kind of want to talk about a little bit of the fear uncertainty and doubt when we start seeing big companies like this using AI and tools that could replace developers. It obviously shows that big companies are going to start adopting more AI tools for code. But this also might mean that there's going to be a shift in how we look at entry level roles for junior developers moving forward. And it also kind of means that there could be a shift in how we develop as programmers and how we need to start approaching learning to code and even being a professional developer. While there's still a lot of companies that might not be adapting to this new tool that we have, us as developers, we need to start embracing these tools and using them more often because it's obviously the shift that's being made into how this profession and this career is handled and the way that we handle our daily duties and our tasks. Maybe it also means that there's going to be new roles that come into place. Maybe we're going to have things like AI supervision or prompt engineers, which is a big buzzword that we have. Maybe that's going to become more of what we see for junior entry level jobs. But you know, don't take my word for it and go change your plans on learning the code. But that's something that maybe we should think about when we start seeing big companies like Google doing things like this. These are going to be tools that we use to make ourselves better developers and businesses are going to take advantage of the fact that they're not going to need as many developers. It kind of sucks in a way, but it just changes and evolves the way that our jobs are done. In the past, we used to have the Google answers and read through forum posts and go on Stack Overflow to find what we needed in order to continue to progress in the work that we were doing. But now things are changing and with the way that AI is going, we are shifting into a phase of using AI as our main tool to help us with coding problems. Obviously, we're still going to have to think for ourselves, but as we move forward and these tools get more powerful, we're going to have to learn to embrace them and we're going to have to learn to use them if we want to stay relevant in this field and in this profession. So 
continue to learn. If you are learning how to code or if you are a new developer or somebody who's even been working in the industry for a while, just know that the learning is never going to stop, like I always say. But now the way that we learn is going to be a little bit different and the tools that we use are going to be different and we should embrace it and we should learn how to use these tools because they are going to be part of our everyday lives. As we can see, AI isn't going anywhere and the way that things are shifting into companies using more AI tools to generate code, apart from also using it for content and different things things. We need to embrace this if we want to evolve. If we don't, then we're going to be left behind and we're going to die. And I guess something that is a little bit reassuring is that they did mention that they're still using a lot of human oversight for approving the code and making sure that AI isn't making mistakes. And at the end of the day, when you are a senior level developer, when you have been doing this for a while, that's kind of what your role shifts into. And newer developers are going to be the ones that generate a lot of the code. There's still going to be a need for those junior developers. And what I see happening is that the junior developers become kind of prompt engineers and work their way into more senior positions as they build things using AI. And senior developers are going to be the ones that are reviewing and approving those code changes made by junior developers who are now being more prompt engineers. And eventually those junior developers will learn enough and move up and senior level developers will move into management just as we have in the past. But it's just a shift in the way that we work. And at the end of the day, I think AI is going to remove more of the mundane task and the routine task and hopefully get rid of a lot of the need to build boilerplate ourselves and do some of the things that we don't like to do as developers and allow us as the humans to do more of the creative work, do more of the high level thinking, do more of the architecture and do more of the stuff that really matters. Because at the end of the day, our job isn't to write code, it's to solve problems. And now if we have tools that help us write the code, then we can focus more on solving the problems. As a developer who's been using some of these tools, I can say that the code quality isn't that great. These tools still make a lot of mistakes. And the fact that we still need a lot of human intervention and we still need to guide these things and babysit them because they make so many mistakes leads me to believe that we're safe for now. And when all of this AI slop is written, I think it's going to just ensure that we have more job security moving forward because in the past you had crap code written by shitty developers and now you just have crap code written by AI. If you've worked in the industry long enough and you've been in any legacy code bases, you'll know that humans are very capable of writing bad code and AI is also very capable of writing bad code and a lot of us end up having a lot of job security because we have to come in and fix all the issues from code that was written before we got there. Now we're just going to be dealing with AI slop instead of slop written by other devs. Of course, I like to be optimistic and I don't want to sit here and sound like the bearer of bad news. When you do see something like this floating around the internet, it definitely spreads a lot of fear in new developers and anyone who's already been working in this field because it lets us to believe that maybe our jobs are in risk. But I wouldn't go freak out anytime soon. I do think that this is just a shift in the way that the work is going to be done and in the industry itself, and we're going to be okay at the end of the day. If not, maybe Skynet is here. I saw that in one of the Reddit comments, and who knows? Once this stuff starts writing itself, maybe we are all screwed, but hopefully until that happens, we're going to be okay for now. But who knows what it's going to look like in five or ten years. Honestly, I don't think anyone can say, and if companies have their way, the less developers they have to pay, the better for them because then these earning calls have higher percentages that they've made in the previous quarters and everybody's happy except us developers who are now figuring out new career paths, I guess. And I don't see us going anywhere anytime soon. It's just the way that our jobs are shifting into a new way of us working. And I will say as a user who's not really happy with a lot of Google products, I feel like I could totally see Google doing this because a lot of their products already feel kind of garbage. And why wouldn't they start building more of their stuff with AI to then produce even more trash. I'm a little harsh on Google. I think that they were very innovative at one point and they've grown to the point where they are just this big giant corporation now and all they care about is the bottom line. And as a company, when you start worrying more about the bottom line than ingenuity, you'll slowly start to degrade and become a shell of your former self. And that's what I think is happening with Google and it's probably gonna happen with a lot of other big corporations and there's gonna be a lot of smaller startups that are gonna be able to use these tools and continue to innovate and build new things that will then give us more jobs as developers. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.